So I'm working on putting all the cross supporting beams in, these short pieces that are in the in between the long beams there. And uh, the way that I've been doing this, just to make sure everything's right on, is first I went through and measured and marked where each one is going to go on either side, so I got it straight across. And then I used my square to measure each individual piece uh, to make sure it's completely lined up and it's going to fit nice and snug between each one. And then brought it down, cut it, brought it back up, and now I'm screwing them in. You can see the pattern that I'm doing here. It's going to be like that all the way down. I will admit that the drill is not one of my strong suits. And the drill I have used to be a good drill, but it's a hand-me-down. It's kind of wearing out now. And so is my bit. Not making excuses, but just makes everything worse. So I am going to have to have Grizz come and with his strength and his good drill to probably sink a couple of these in just a little bit more because they're sticking out a little bit. I'm having trouble with some of them getting them completely flush. So I'll have him do that. And then I did measure and cut those last two by fours that we somehow missed. So I'm going to stick those in. And then I've just got to run to Home Depot because we are one two by six short. I could have sworn I had one somewhere, but I can't find it anywhere. Not at our other house, not here. So I've got to go pick one of those up to put in there. And then I can finish all the uh, cross beams and everything. So I'm going to keep working on that for a little while. All right, so I finished that. Pretty happy. Everything was like perfect timing. The sun's almost down. I've probably got like 15 minutes or so before it's completely dark. And my drill literally died on the last screw. I tried to tighten one more up a little bit and it wouldn't even push it. It was just dead. So that was also perfect timing. So I am think I'm going to clean up for now because I've got a bit to clean up, especially with cutting down below. i got to sweep their porch and everything. And I want to hook the trailer up and take it home today. So I am pretty happy with today, and I'll be back tomorrow to keep working. So I'm working on building the gate for the duck paddock today. You can see these 4 by 4s for the outer frame, and these legs here are going to get dug all the way down into the ground, so that even this bar here is partially in the ground. And then you've got the door on the inside which I just picked up this mesh today and I actually spray painted it black because I have uh, nice hinges and handles for the gate which are also black so I wanted it to match. And then for the door part, what I'm about to do next after I staple this all down nice and tight, I'm going to build the exact same frame, not the 4x4, four four, the 2x2s, two and put it over the top so it's going to kind of make like a sandwich with the mesh so that should make it really sturdy. And then I've got a hook on the hinges and handles, and I've got to bring it up and see if I can get it on, in the ground on my own. I assume it's going to be a little heavy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'll see. So this is what I ended up with. Pretty happy with that, as long as it works once it's in the ground. deeper than that on this side. I'm just stuck on a rock or something. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Apparently I'm deep enough, but I don't think my hole is wide enough, so I don't think it's getting to the very bottom. Alright. Damn it. 
Okay, I guess I'm going to try to dig it out a little bit more. I'm kind of struggling with the uh, rocks that are in here because I'm getting edges of big ones that are blocking me off that I keep having to work around. Damn it. Okay, try to get a little deeper. Let's see if I can get this out of the hole now. Ooh, staying on its own. Nice. I'm gonna go try to go a tiny bit deeper. I don't know if I can get it back out of the hole. Shoot, sir. minutes. We'll try this again in a second. Alright, well, I dug a little deeper, and it got pretty deep on this side. I may have to fill it in more, because that side tried to get deeper. I could only get a little bit. I'm hitting some pretty major rocks that I'm not going to be able to get out unless I really expand, and I don't know how big they are or how far I'd have to expand, so I'm going to try to avoid that and hope this, this will be good enough. I mean, I've got a little bit of playroom of how deep I want to put it, so I'll see, but I'm trying to get it so that this beam is partially covered so the wheelbarrow and stuff, I can kind of just push right over it. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Let's see what we can do. That's a little better. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to. One rock right in the freaking way on this side. Eh, yeah, well, that's not terrible. Mistake? No. We're looking at level logs here. Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet. I actually got that right level. Very nice. Okay. So, level in that direction. and then kind of adjust it and level that way. Should be right around there. So now the question is, how do I bury it? <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna just start pushing some in around the edges to try to get it to at least stay in place for me here before I do anything else. Alright, so I packed down the dirt as much as I can. I'm still going to keep an eye on it over the next couple days for it settling, and especially in the next rainstorm, probably add some more dirt, maybe a little rock to make it sturdy, that kind of thing. Um, it's opening pretty well. i got to lift it up a little bit to open it, and I still need to tighten these hinges up a little bit more anyway, but like I said before, I'm not the best with the drill. And these are really thick screws, so I may have Chris push them in a little bit more to lift it up, but otherwise, it's opening and closing pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually very happy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the only other thing I might switch, which I could have sworn it was when I got it, is that this latch, I don't have a way of... Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I just lied. I do have a way of locking it. Okay, I can put a lock right through there, and it should hold the uh, bottom lip of that back so it can't open. That was my only problem, is I definitely want to... Lock on this, raccoons do eat ducks, and uh, they're very clever. They'll even, uh, if you don't have big enough holes in your screen, they'll even reach right through and eat your duck piece by piece through the fence, and they will figure out how to get latches open, that kind of thing. So uh, that's why this is also dug into the ground pretty well. Uh, something could still probably get underneath that if they wanted, but it's pretty rocky here. I'm hoping nothing will try to dig underneath the gate. So I'm extremely happy with this as my project for the day. I am probably going to find something else to work on in the meantime, but we'll see.